Hi, and welcome to your next lecture of Computer Science for Everyone. This time, we're moving into the next section, and let's forget about the introduction to the course and start talking about the computer. Parts of a computer. A computer has many components. They all work together in your computer to achieve an objective. The objectives usually are to display things on the screen, the things you want to see, and to make calculations. Everything else can pretty much be derived from this. So what are these parts that work together? There's some obvious ones that you already know. The screen, the mouse, the keyboard, the printer. And you'll notice these are all external parts to a computer. These are all input and output parts that really aren't considered part of the computer. They're considered input and output devices. So what are the parts that are inside the computer? We have, first of all, the motherboard. Everything is plugged into the motherboard. So all the following components are plugged into the motherboard. And the motherboard is what gives them power and c makes them communicate with each other. Provides the, the wires, also called the buses, that allow them to send information to one another. OK, so we have the motherboard. We have the CPU, central processing unit. And as the name says, it basically processes and makes calculations. We have the RAM, which is called Random Access Memory. This is essentially a data storage, a temporary data storage, I must say. The RAM gets erased when you shut down your computer. And then you have to rewrite it when you um, turn your computer back on. And the RAM stores documents and programs and stuff like that. Then you have the graphics card, which is essentially like another computer inside your computer. And the graphics card deal with, uh, deals with um, images, video, displaying things on the screen, stuff like that. Then you have storage, such as your magnetic drive, which aren't used really that much anymore. Disk drives, which are used but are going out of fashion pretty quickly. Um, solid state drives. Um, which is, for example, what I'm using is just a, a form of permanent storage. And finally, we have buses, which, as I've said, are the wires that connect components together and let them uh, send information to one another. OK, so the motherboard is this that you see at the right. It looks quite scary, but trust me, it's not that bad. You can see the main things have been um, marked, so you can um, see them more easily. And we can see the I.O. panel at the top left. This is what you see behind your computer when you're trying to plug something in. Um, that's what is popping out of your computer. Um, is that rear panel input-output. Um, then you have the CPU socket right below it. And that's where your central processing unit, your CPU, is plugged in. Um, then you have the memory bank at the very bottom. That's where your RAM goes. Uh, the, the, that temporary storage we talked about. Then we have PCI slots at the left and PCI 16 slots, PCIe, PCI Express existing slots. Those are used for other um, other things, pretty much. Sound cards, Ethernet cards, graphics cards, everything like that. Then you have the battery. The battery is used to keep the time in your computer and also to keep um, the computer's settings when it starts up alive while it's not on. It usually lasts five to ten years. And then you have north and south bridges. The south bridge is at the bottom left, the north bridge is in the middle, and the north bridge is a memory controller hub. So that um, allows communication between the graphics card memory, which goes in the PCI Express 16 slot, and the memory bank, so it pairs those two to the central processing unit, lets the CPU access the two memories and interact with them. And the south bridge at the bottom left is an input-output controller hub. So it pairs the PCI slots, the input-output panel, um, and the system settings with the north bridge, which then pairs them with the RAM and the CPU socket. So not all components are directly connected to one another, um, but they go to the north bridge or the south bridge, and then the south and the north bridges are connected together for um, communication between all components. 
it's not something you should really worry about and definitely not something you need to know about during this course as it is more basic than this. But I thought it was something interesting and I'm sure um, you find it interesting as well. So that's it about the parts of a computer. In the next lecture, we're going to be moving into a bit more detail with the um, central processing unit because it is very interesting. Um, and it could teach you a bit about programming and why it works the way it does. So stick with me and I'll see you in the next lecture.